Carry, 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 let's go, let's go. The finishing position of 10th was a real disappointment to us, I think, um, of the way that we saw the season happening and the way that the season started. Um, we had a strong coaching team, Gavin Hogg, James Button, and um, Tom Wiley. Um, we hadn't lost too many players the season before, so our retention was pretty good. And um, we were recruited in the areas where we were weak. So, in many ways, we were quite confident that we'd have a uh, reasonably good season. Um, it started quite well. We won nine games and lost five going up to Christmas. And then about Christmas time, uh, I think the last game before Christmas, which was Henley, we lost that game and then basically lost seven on the bounce, which was the end of our season as far as being competitive. Very early on in the season, we realised that we had a problem with a couple of key players who weren't going to be able to commit, um, and another couple that were badly injured, which meant that they were going to uh, not take part in the season properly at all. One of them, for example, was Tom Bednell. Um, we started with Tom Bednell at 10, uh, Dan Watt at 12, and we were looking very strong. And uh, as the season went on, we realised we weren't going to see much of Tom. And in fact, out of the games that Tom played, with Dan inside him, we won most of them. And um, never were able to, um, with the rejigging that we did inside, never able really to compensate for that loss. And uh, it showed up all the way through the season. When we went into um, recruiting, uh, which was not long after Christmas, we had a we have a senior player group, and we sat down with them and we looked at the type of players that they wanted to play with, the type of players that we thought were right for us as a club um, to give us success. In the end, it came down to um, that we were looking for players who had the attributes of uh, character, perhaps over skill. Players that were going to um, work really, really hard within the group um, and we could build bits of skill onto that rather than players that had the skill and probably lacked a bit of uh, character or will to work hard uh, for their mates and everything else around. Well, I think you know, we we identified we weren't really in the top four or five teams last year, the fittest or the strongest. And I think there are some there were some good sides last year we played against, um, two of which have got promoted. And then you know, you've got the you know, Thompsons, um, obviously Leicester Lions uh, coming down into our league. It's, it's difficult to say, you know, with Henley, Henley recruited strongly. Um, but, until you actually get a first round of league games out of the way, you just don't know. Who. The nature of semi professional rugby is, is guys being available, being lucky with injuries, um, you know, guys playing a, a style of rugby that, 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 that they're infused and passionate about. And you know, there's, there's a lot of uncontrollables, so we've got a good group of guys. I don't say that lightly. We've got a good group of guys, and if we keep them all fit and we play, play some good rugby, then you know, we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see. We're not going to set out any bold statements at this stage. Until we hit the ground running, we'll play some games.